Hey guys, it's Steve1989 from MRE Info again, and this time we're going to be presenting a meal combat individual beans with meatballs and tomato sauce B2 unit. I gotta find out the date of production here, but we're gonna find out when we dig in. But this one has the cigarettes and the interdental stimulator, which I am almost certain most of you guys have not seen yet. The interdental stimulator was put in accessory packets during, hmm. Actually, I don't know if anyone knows. I don't. And if anybody can figure that out, let me know here. But anyway, this here has the cigarettes. It's got the, you know, the interdental stimulator. Coffee instant type one, my favorite. Anyway, let's dig in. All right, let's see here. What we're gonna do is just simply open this up. I'm even going to smoke the cigarettes because I want to show to you guys that these things are still smokable. It's kind of a tightly kept secret, but not anymore. Because really, they're already expensive enough. You know, they're just going to keep going up in value. I might as well enjoy them while I can. Otherwise, these things are just going to keep, well, by me opening and enjoying this. It's just going to. See, it's hard to not get that glare. I hope you guys can see this all right. All right. B2 unit, crackers and cheese spread. Mmm, cheese spread. That'll be a doozy. I think this thing burst it. Yeah, it's kind of stuck in there. Ooh, look at that. Some of the cardboard and even, oh, some mold. That's disgusting. Beans with meatballs and tomato sauce what's the DOP on these anyway it doesn't even say it's got a lock code but I can't tell ah October 1970 for this so I'm guessing a 1970 4870 on the pound cake and that's a friggin bug carcass right there that's disgusting <sighs> yeah and I'm still gonna smoke these cigarettes I must be crazy and here's the spacer, and then look at the inside. Oh, gnarly, man, look at that. Nice. Mmm, they don't make them like they used to. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna try and open that up. It's just solidified, look, listen. Oh, there's a little gift to that, nice. B2 unit with cheese spread, that's just nasty. Go on MREinfo.com and check out the other ration reviews. If you want to see a photo of a real nasty cheese spread, it's B units plus extras, I think it's called, a post of mine. Actually, you guys got to go on there because people like, you know, K-Man, Housel, and, you know, oh my gosh, I mean, where do I even start with all the brilliant minds that have collaborated the information on there? I mean, I could give a shout out a mile long on it, and I'm going to. The names I come up with I can try and remember, I will. So anyway, sorry I didn't have that in focus properly. I'm not the best at this yet. My apologies, but the material is going to be unique, so it's worth it. I always carry a P38 on my keychain, so let's do it the old fashioned way. You guys got to carry one of these things on you, you know, you never know when you're going to run into a can of beans and you're going to really wish you had that P38. <laughs> Anyways, let's get a nice tray out too, do it classy. You know, you got to keep it classy. A nice 1942 made by JSEIP, 1942. It's going to be impossible to focus into, trust me. I can barely even see it with my naked eye here. Let's get this in the center first. And then we're going to open this stuff up. I'm going to go outside and have a stove. Because I don't want to stink up the house. So, the deal is, these guys got three of these a day when they were deployed. If they were lucky. I've heard these poor dudes wouldn't even get more than one or two of them in a day a lot of times. Because of supply issues. My condolences to anybody who served and had to eat sea rations. 
I'm very sorry, and thank you for your service, by the way. Anyways, I hope that looks okay. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad. You can still see that survival ration over there. I actually just ate those charms. I decided to do this next. I have a plethora of rations. I'm just going to start opening them up and doing reviews. Because it's fun. Anyways, so I really want to share this with you guys. A lot of this stuff is kind of folklore until it's actually videotaped, you know? Or recorded videotaped. What year is this? Oh, this is gonna be nasty. Why am I opening this in the house? Oh, nice. Botulism City. I remember, I think it was Big Joe off MRE Info back in the day. This was always so affecting to me, right? He said, spinning the wheel of botulism fun. <laughs> you know, when you're eating stuff like this. Don't eat this. Did you hear that hiss? Oh, I'm scared to even smell this. This is not cool, man. Anyways. <laughs> I gotta be methodical. I do not want to spill this stuff. Ah, oh, nice. You know, I've opened up a 1967 data production cheese spread that was swelled. And I stunk up my kitchen for a whole night. And I swear I smelled that on the... Like, that smell for like hours afterwards. It's like, I wish I could have just washed out my sinuses afterwards. Oh, nice. Mmm. Tasty stuff. It's kind of locked in on the P38. There we go. Mmm. Not bad. Here, let's lift that up with the spoon. I think I actually see mold inside of there. Mmm. Man. I forgot to breathe for a minute. This is nasty. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, look at that thing on the side there. You see, wait, see, oh, you can't yet. Hold on. Oh, nice. Gnarly. Oh, yeah, it stinks. I just got a whiff. That is, oh, God. Whoa. Oh, it's just metal and beans and rot. It's just so bad. Like, I can't, I just can't. I can't mess with that. I'm not digging any further on it. I'm actually taking it outside. Hold on. Oh, Christ. Oh, jeez, oh, man. Hold on. All right. All right, all right. I'm back. That's all good. You know, I've opened up... Ugh, let me wash this spoon off. I opened up a pound cake before from the mid-60s, and it just smelled like gas. I swear. I mean, it smelled like, not gasoline, but... Some bad gas. Hold up. I'm gonna wash the spoon off. You know, I can't imagine these things ever being good. Except, just remember what K-Man said. Because everything tastes good when you're hungry. <laughs> anyway. Um, probably should have washed this off too. Yeah, let me do that real quick. My apologies. Oh yeah, that just lined my sinuses with a metallic beany scent. I mean, I, I'm sorry guys, you couldn't see the meatballs, but I couldn't take, I, you know, there's just some stuff you can't do. I draw the line. All right, anyway. You always open these from the bottom. I think I just, yeah, I open the other one from the bottom. I'll try and restore that can. I, I save my sea rations if I open them for display. You know, it actually really helps your helping history if you're opening up a sea ration that's bulging and bursting if you can get that junk out and you want to deal with it and clean it out, open it from the bottom. You know, there are different methods. Go on MREinfo.com and you go to their forums. MRE Heater 72 has a method with using sandpaper at the bottom. Oh, here. Let me open this up here. There are ways to restore these things. I'm talking about restoration. I'm about to smoke the cigs. Ooh, you hear that? Nice hiss. This is the pound cake, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. You know. Oh, yeah, that was so gnarly and disgusting. 
Mm. I feel like I need to blow my nose. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, that smells a little weird, but not as bad as the last one. Uh, it just smells a little rancid. Rancidity ranges from this strange, fruity, oily deal to just straight up wrong. Now, this one's a scale from 1 to 10 on rancidity. I'd give it a 4 because I smelled worse. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that baby out there. Mmm. Pound cake. Mmm. Anyway. Let's check this out. Mmm, man. That's no good. Look at that thing. It's nasty, man. That's just nasty. Oh, getting crumbs everywhere. My dog's gonna eat that. Ugh. Some things probably are just better off being unopened. <laughs> Let's break it open. Oh, it's just so hard. It's hardened up over the years. It's dry and hard and... Oh, man, that is nasty. No way, man. There's just no way I'm eating any of that. And I've eaten some weird stuff. But I am not eating that, man. Use me on the bad focus job. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta wash my hands real quick. But yeah, get a good ponder on that before I come back. Like, ugh, ugh, God, my fingers. My fingers are so greasy, you know? Like, ugh, oh man. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> fun to complain about this stuff. I really am exaggerating it a little bit, but it is pretty nasty. Now the B2 unit, let's go for that next and save the best for last. Mm. I always think of the Ryuichi Sakamoto Avant Garde Minimalist Album B2 unit when I see a B2 unit. I don't think anything normal. Naturally, I don't think anything normal. All right. Oh, that's a nice hiss. Oh, that just stinks immediately, too. Oh, gnarly again. I keep using that word, but I can't help it. I mean, it's just the first word that comes to my mind. It's grotesque. It's strange. It's a strange creature. It's one of the worst things I come across, but not the worst. Like I said, I think that cheese bread from 67, I'm hoping I didn't just run into the same issue here. I'm hitting something solid. The cheese bread's, I think, on the bottom, and the crackers are on the top, but I might be wrong. I kind of can't remember. We're going to find out again here. Yeah, cheese is on the bottom. Ugh, that's a nasty film of oil on the top. Look at that. I just got that on my finger, it's so nasty. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this out. Oh, 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 gosh, it's the cheese. Dude, it bursted, here. I'm gonna touch this with my bare, oh no, I'm not touching this with my bare hands. No way. All right, all right. I feel like something just got in my eye. Oh, God. Oh, look at that nasty oil residue. This is oh, just disgusting. I'm going to have to take the trash out after this. Drop this right over here. All right, let's get it out on the table. Oh, look at that. Yeah, man. Inside, they use like a weird red ink or something on that uh, paper, the cushion. 
the containers in nice enough shape. And you know, sometimes you open up a B2 unit going with the cheese spread and there's rust inside. Like they, they degrade quicker than the B1s and the B3s. The B1s and the B3s have those fudge bars, vanilla or chocolate fudge. And oh man, the sorbitol, the egg alumin, and which is like egg whites, and the uh, propylene glycol. The combination, it goes bad after the year, over the years. And the appearance of those fudge bars are just perfect, right? But they're not. They're disgusting. I don't know what the heck happened over the years. I mean, I've heard people say they were never good, right? I gotta get this off my fingers. Excuse me, guys. But we'll check out one of those next time. <sighs> I have B units from ration combat individuals, RCIs, which are the original American US 24 hour ration. I don't think those have fudge bars, but I got a B1, B2, B3 of those as well. Of course, you always got four crackers, and they, these are like soggy now. Like, they just feel like moisture has gotten to them. Cheese spread cheddar. I'm sorry, guys, but I can't open that. I just can't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You know, the family cannot be smelling that in this house. Yeah, you know, like, if you're wanting a video of me just opening that, I will outside another time. But, I'm not doing it here. I just can't. This is nasty. I mean, just like, gosh, I mean, really, why don't I just throw this out is what I'm asking myself. But, you know, you don't want to throw out history like that. I'm going to try and open it from the bottom, but I don't know if that's possible. Or you open it from the top and you just save the top lid for display. But, yeah. Anyways, let's go for the cigarettes next because I'm getting on low battery here. The battery does not last long on this camera. Hmm. All right, all right. I'm just going to put this over here. I'm going to set this over yonder. And I'm going to check out these, this accessory packet. This thing's great. Sorry for the glare. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try and open this one from the bottom or slit it from the back. You know, that's really the way to do it with these things. You know, if you wanna save it for display, don't just rip it open, you know, if you can help it. There we go. And I wanna have this stuff. Ah, yes, Lucky Strikes. Now that smells nice. That's one of my favorite smells. It's the inside of an accessory packet. Check that out. Now, let's get this presented. And, you know, the Lucky Strikes go for some money on eBay now. I've seen them sell for like 20, 30 bucks. It's with the bits up anywhere. Anyways, look at those chiclets from back in the day. Right on. Nice. Adam's chiclets. And look at the, the red phosphorus. It's like there's twice as much of it back in the day as nowadays. I'll bet you could just glide this across the striker. Yeah. You don't have to swipe it so hard like those cheap ones nowadays in MREs. Which the packets in from 2012 to current are now brown instead of green. I mean at least they still are made by DD Bean and Sons. This is Diamond Match Division, New York, New York. Everything was made in New York, New York back in the day. Now check this out, right? This is cool. Stimudent. It's the interdental stimulator. I hope you guys can see that all right. Gosh, I'm sorry. Hmm. You know, it says Stimudent. Interdental stimulators clean teeth immediately after eating. Directions, one, moist in mouth thoroughly. Two, use pointed end to clean gentle between the teeth with flat side next to the gum. Three, chew blunt end to separate fibers and use to brush teeth. Made in USA. Anyway, let's check that out right now. I'm actually chewing gum from a different ration right now. Mm. Excuse me. Take that out of my mouth and let's see. So look at that. You see that? 
two little, looks almost like balsa wood or something. And I guess this is your little toothpick end, and then this is your brush and you bite it. And you make, mmm, it has a sweet, mmm, minty flavor. That's kind of pleasant. And you just, you bristle it with your, you know, get it out like, how, I don't know how you do it. I think I just messed it up. I'm an idiot. But that goes without saying. Anyways, you know, excuse me. Yeah, it works. And you just get in there. And do it the old fashioned way. Hmm. Hmm. You know, hey, you just bite into it. And it kind of turns, yeah, I can see how this could clean your teeth. This could really get in there. And it is. Hmm. Excuse me, that was kind of gross. Anyways, but I'm telling you, it works. It really does. I'm going to save that packaging. That's kind of cool display piece. Got salt. You got your toilet paper, which was never enough. Coffee, instant, 2.5 grams net, which switched to 2.2 grams net in MREs in 1986. Cream substitute dry. Now let's get in for those uh, lucky strikes before this battery dies. I don't want to have to recharge that. I'm really wanting to dig into this. The American Tobacco Company. Lucky strikes means fine tobacco. I've enjoyed these before. You know, I really shouldn't be smoking, but this is a treat and a trip, I've got to say. Oh yeah, they smell perfect. They smell perfect. Now, look at that, right? Get four of them in there. And then you'll be able to see the old school Lucky Strike symbol. So cool. Now let's smoke one of these things. Actually, screw it. I'll just smoke it right here. Anyways, let's see. I hate to self-indulgently put myself in the video, but my house is a mess. Whose isn't? Hmm. Yeah, man, it doesn't taste bad. I mean, I don't like inhaling on cigarettes, right? I'm not big on smokes. I'm not a cigarette smoker. Actually, it's the first thing I've smoked in a couple months. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Mm, I'm going to get a little nicotine buzz off this. Mm, I mean, you really can't make them... You know, like this nowadays, you know, you could get an American Spirit cigarette or something. Grow your own tobacco and get it natural like this. Although, I'll bet there are some weird additives in this. Yeah, excuse me. Didn't mean to blow smoke in your face there. Let's get back down to the presentation. You know, I hate stinking up the house with nicotine smoke, but any smoke, usually you gotta just... Ooh, man. Boy, I'm sorry, but I'm already getting lightheaded from the <laughs> unfiltered cigarettes, you know? I mean, I mean, who does this anyway? I must be crazy.